Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, we're not exactly going to be talking about puzzles, but we are going to be talking about something that I consider integral to the puzzling experience. Snacks! So I'm going to share with you my top five favorite puzzling snacks and why I think they're awesome. Let's check them out. So I'm going to go through these snacks in no particular order because um, not one single one is my absolute favorite. I really, I consider them all my favorites and it just depends on the, the day, the weather, my mood, what puzzle I'm doing as to what I feel like eating, maybe a combination, maybe just one. Um, but yeah, I, the main reason that these are my favorites is, I mean, of course, the flavor, obviously, but um, another reason is kind of convenience. So when I puzzle, I, I don't have to keep getting up to wash my hands. I don't want to be eating something super greasy or crumbly or messy that's going to like mess up my puzzle and my hands and what I'm wearing. I want something that's easy to eat with like potentially one hand so you can puzzle with one hand and eat snacks with the other. Um, and something that's, yeah, again, not going to like drop crumbs into your puzzle, like nothing worse than a messy puzzle. So uh, yeah, so all these snacks are pretty readily available in most Australian supermarkets. Um, they're like pretty inexpensive, pretty easy to get a hold of. Um, yeah. So let's start with one of my all time favorites and a classic Maltesers. So these are absolutely delicious. Um, they're, they're a little round ball and with a thin layer of milk chocolate. And then on the inside is sort of like an aerated, I guess, malt crispy texture. So they're crunchy, but like not like a hard candy. They're just like a nice, satisfying crunch. I mean, they also are so like such a gentle, I guess, lolly that they'll melt in your mouth too. Um, but yeah, these are really delicious. Um, I like them because they're like easy to just eat with one hand. I guess the main downside is if it, it does get really hot and humid here in summer. So it can get a little bit melty if you're not careful. So I don't always eat these in summer. Um, but for the most part, they're like pretty easy to eat. They don't leave too much like melty finger business happening. Um, but yeah, um, I think these might be just available here in Australia. I don't recall seeing them on my travels in the US or Europe. Um, I could be wrong though. So if you do have them in your country, let me know. Um, they might have them in New Zealand. I'm not sure. Um, but I do recall seeing something similar in the US, like that same sort of malt aerated feeling. Um, but yeah, really delicious. Um, you can get them in a few other fla seasonal flavors or varieties like dark chocolate, gross, no one wants that. Um, honeycomb, that's pretty nice, but very sickly sweet. But yeah, I think my favorite ones are these classic milk chocolate ones. Uh, next up is, I guess, a snack that's pretty known pretty worldwide and is definitely not native to Australia um, is M&M's. However, these are like, I guess a seasonal or maybe a limited flavor, which I have like been really enjoying at the moment. So these are Hubba Bubba bubblegum flavor. Um, they're pretty sickly sweet, but I really love them because as a kid, I used to really be into Hubba Bubba bubblegum. That's so hard to say. Um, but yeah, I used to love that bubblegum. I would like eat all the different flavors. Grape is pretty awesome strawberry whatever but yeah so it's pretty like nostalgic and fun um so they and they also come in like some pretty neat colors too they come in these sort of pastel blue pink and white colors so yeah i don't know pretty fun pretty cute looking yeah and of course like you know they don't melt in your hand very easily so they're a great puzzling snack um you can eat them one-handed puzzle with the other perfect so yeah, really enjoying those at the moment. Um, we do in Australia, I think like the US, we tend to get a lot of like seasonal flavors. So um, yeah, I don't know how long this one's out for, but probably it's not probably not part of their permanent line. But yeah, we get things like for Easter, like hot cross bun flavor or mint for Christmas, all sorts of stuff. So yeah. Another one that is kind of a, I guess, special limited edition. And so the, this is Allen's, which makes like a lot of, I guess, chewy kind of lollies, like gummy, gummy lollies. Um, and these are the milk bottle lollies, which I, I would say you've probably seen around the world. Like I think 
that's not just a lolly that's just exclusive here in Australia. It's, I'm sure I've seen it elsewhere. However, this one's a collaboration with a, an Australia, I think it's Australian, um, flavored milk company called Oak. And basically Oak's like, I guess prime demographic is like tradies and teenage boys. So, <laughs> however, uh, these flavors seem pretty cool. So instead of just the normal, I guess, milky vanilla flavored um, milk bottle, we've got chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla malt flavor. So that's pretty cool. These are really nice, easy to eat. Um, yeah, let me just show you. So they come in, the, the obviously, the colors that go along with the flavor. So got pink, brown, and sort of like off-white. But yeah, just a cute little classic milk bottles, but in better flavors yeah so i'm really enjoying those i hope this flavor sticks around because i'm pretty in love with it so up next these last couple of snacks are kind of what i would consider borderline controversial so obviously before i was talking about how i don't like messy snacks or snacks that leave stuff on your puzzles well these kind of cross that line just a smidgen um, so what i mean by that is this in, one in particular, so these are banana lollies, which are uh, Coles brand, but you can get them in like all, su like all supermarkets will have their own version pretty much. Um, so this is what they look like, but they tend to leave like a bit of like this white flowery powder. I don't know what it is. I guess it's part of the manufacturing process. Um, it wipes off or dusts off pretty easily, but yeah, it is just something to be aware of that you're going to get dusty fingers if you eat these so make sure you wipe them off on your loungewear puzzling pants okay um yeah so i don't know if you guys have these like where you're from but it's a really just difficult candy to describe so i guess the outside's like fairly hard but when you bite into it it's kind of soft but not a gummy it's sort of like mushy i don't know i don't know how to describe it like we have another candy here called musk sticks and it's a pretty much the same texture as that where it's not like not hard in your teeth but just a sort of kind of hard shell and then the inside's like sort of soft kind of i don't know but yeah but they're really tasty obviously very artificial banana flavored very sweet but super delicious highly recommend and last but not least uh, these ones, which like like the bananas, are quite controversial because, um, well, oh, so I should say what these are. These are marshmallows, and these are from Pascal, which, yeah, they make sort of all sorts of gummy lollies and candies here. Um, you can get marshmallows by all different brands and all different supermarkets here, so they're pretty easy to come by. But it seems like in Australia, we tend to like these small ones that come in pink and white which i think is like vanilla and raspberry or strawberry raspberry i think anyway the reason why they're controversial is like the bananas they sort of they're very powdery so uh, they're a little bit messy they don't really tend to leave powder like they don't really tend to drop powder on things but you will just get powdery fingers. So again, just wipe those on your puzzling loungewear and you'll be right. Um, but yeah, marshmallows, great on their own. Pop them in a hot chocolate if you feel feeling fancy. Uh, yeah, great, delicious. Um, again, pretty easy to eat with one hand and yeah, it's just dusty. Um, yeah, so that's it for my top five favorite puzzling snacks. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite puzzling snacks and why um, do you have some of these in your country or something completely different that you like yeah so let me know um, and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and put on notifications so you keep up to date with all things puzzling and you can also check me out um, over on instagram at jigsaw underscore juby see you next time bye Snacks, 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 snacks.